How many times have you heard the word townhouse or read about it either from me or from any other real estate platforms in Australia? We often come across this term townhouse, but I think a lot of people still don't fully understand it, especially if you are a foreigner. So what is a townhouse? Is it a house? Is it a linked house? Is it a split unit? And most importantly, why are townhouses becoming so popular, especially around in Melbourne? This is what I'm going to talk about today. And if you like this topic, please continue watching. Hello everyone, my name is Jolene and here at ARE Property in Melbourne, we help foreign investors like yourself to get a foothold into the Melbourne property market from understanding the regulations, um, the market, the processes and most importantly understanding your investment goals. If you liked my video, please like it. Um, if you like content like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anyways. Let us get right into it. So what is a townhouse? A townhouse is usually a multi-storey uh, building designed to mimic a traditional house that is owned on uh, a strata title. This means that you own the dwelling but may share the land with other property owners. A simpler way to explain this might be imagine a developer bought an older house with a bit of land, um, demolished the house, subdivided the land into uh, smaller lots and built smaller houses on them. These houses may share like a driveway, hence um, they are on strata title. This could also happen to bigger estate where a land developer may carve out a portion uh, of the land and subdivide them into smaller lots again to build townhouses and making them more affordable. Before I forget, um, I would like to show you some pictures that would highlight the differences between a traditional um, house and a townhouse. So I put together some pictures here. So this is what a traditional house will look like. So basically um, you own the land and you own the building. And these are some pictures of what townhouses development look like. So typically you do share a driveway, um, a little bit of common areas and the houses look smaller but they do look like a house. Townhouses are really good uh, options for singles, uh, couples, small families, um, and even downsizers, given that they often have more space than apartments, but have, uh, have substantially fewer uh, maintenance requirements of a house. They will usually come with some outdoor space, which can range from um, a courtyard or to a larger backyard. Now that we have established what is a townhouse, Let's look at why this type of residential properties are so popular right now in Melbourne. First of all, affordability. As traditional house prices increase, especially in well-established suburb, it puts a lot of buyers who want to live in a house out of the market. House prices in major cities across Australia, especially in the past two years, have increased a lot some as high as 27%. Townhouses naturally become the next best options, <clears throat> offering many benefits of a traditional house like a, a yard, individual access, a small garden, but at a much lower entry price. As mentioned a moment earlier, townhouses are usually built in already uh, well-established suburbs. This offers buyers who want to be in good suburbs but can't afford a traditional house an opportunity to live in the same area. Townhouses could be found mostly in the middle ring suburbs ranging from somewhere between 10 to 20 kilometer um, away from the city. Um, it could also be found in outer suburbs um, those over 20 kilometers from the city providing affordable housing and yet 
within a new housing estate with parks, amenities, schools, public transports and um, retail centres. Thirdly, townhouses do offer more space than apartments. Um, most of them do incur a body corporate fee, but that's usually just a tiny fraction of what you would pay in um, an apartment building. That's usually just for um, general maintenance of the driveways, um, of the, the rubbish, the gardening. And unlike apartment buildings, townhouses generally do look like a house and you do own the entire space to yourself. There are other important reasons um, that encourage the take-up rate of townhouses um, in the past few years and the demand has encouraged also a lot of developers to build townhouses. Um, one of the main reasons is the growing number of smaller households. Um, instead of, you know, like people in the past where families are big, families are s smaller these days with maybe one child, maximum two children, and there are a lot of single person or a couple. And as mentioned earlier, even downsizers are looking at townhouses. Um, another uh, reason is living in a townhouse promotes low maintenance lifestyle as compared to having a traditional house. So what should you expect in a townhouse? Townhouses built in the middle ring suburbs usually are a little bit smaller, consisting of mainly two and three bedrooms um, uh, houses over two or three stories. Those in the outer uh, suburbs might be larger, two, three and even four bedrooms. It really depends on the location you're looking for and how much you are willing to spend. Two bedroom townhouses in the metering suburb starts from around six hundred and fifty to six hundred and ninety thousand dollars, and three bedrooms in this area would typically be around eight hundred thousand to a million dollars. In more established locations where traditional houses are in the millions, a four bedroom townhouse could also range from anywhere between like a million, one point two million, all the way up to two million dollars. This is also attractive to foreigners who are not able to buy a second-hand house in some of these already well-established suburbs. It offers them an opportunity to still own a house um, in location like this. We do come across townhouses in outer suburbs um, that are sold within the 500,000 to 550,000 price range. But um, all this is just a general guide and it really still depends on location. I hope this video has provided you with a much better idea of the concept of a townhouse. Townhouses have proven to be great alternatives to traditional houses. And if this is something that might suit you, uh, your requirements and your budget, do feel free to get in touch with me we can look at um, the list of what we have and whether any of this uh, might be suitable. Usually townhouses developments are small, meaning that there are only a handful of units and they do sell quite quickly as they're popular, whether it's uh, amongst the local or foreigners. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you again or hearing from you. Thank you.